So how are you feeling? John Riggs here. A few things to unbox. Uh, something from the Americas, the United States of America, something from the UK, and then something from Portugal. Curious about that one from Portugal. I'm curious about all of them, really. Um, the first one comes from Mark. You've seen his work, Mark's Memory Bites. He did the Princess Tomato one, and he sent me... I can take this down. He sent me a Pilot Wings one as well. Look at this. I'm going to show that off. Pilot Wings, one of my favorite games of all time. He does these uh, 3D shadow things. Um, he also sent over one for Kinsey, which I have uh, posted in my uh, Galaxar video of uh, her you know, being handed that as well. So, oh. Is this going to be the whole video of me trying to get this to go back on there? Seriously. There we go. All right, we got it. We got it. Uh, he also says, he encloses a note, uh, you'll find the two frames, uh, Pilot Wings and uh, Kinsey's Beer Run. Great game. Hope she likes the piece. I've also included, uh, closed a few small toys for your kids. They're actually gifts from, from my girls. After watching a few of your videos, when my eldest daughter, Katie, commented that it's not fair that dad, me, gets all the presents and kids don't. <laughs> so she and my other daughter, Holly, um, have sent them your way. They're just McDonald's toys that they have spares of and hope your kid will enjoy them. Uh, people still contact me saying they found me through your video. Thanks once again. Yours truly, Mark. Uh, Mark's Memory Bites uh, does these as well and ships and um, I love them. And if you're curious, you can do that too. I know they're for the girls, but I want to have a peek. Oh, dude. The girls. The girls, are girls nothing. These are for daddy here. The, the UK McDonald's toys. Awesome. Okay, well, yeah, these will be for the girls. I'll be good. I'll be good, Holly. I'll be good, Katie. All right, fine. All right, next. Casey, my buddy Casey from Portland. Um, I know kind of what he sent, but I don't know all of it. And this is what I know he was sending me. Uh, we were chatting the other day in the uh, Portland Retro Gamers Facebook group. I was like, every time I turn on my Dreamcast, I get the alarm sound that beep because I have never once changed the battery in my VMU. And he was like, oh, dude, if you need some more VMUs, I'll send them some uh, your way, because I only had one. So he sent over a couple of VMUs. These are awesome. These are, uh, if you're not familiar with Dreamcast, they look like little Game Boys. You put them in your controller to play, and then you can also pop them out, and you can play. There's like little mini games to get bonus points in the games that you have kind of thing. Uh, very, very innovative idea. Um, and you can do that, which for like battling back and forth, which is kind of fun. And I'm not making that up. I mean, that's actually one of the features in it. It's funny, I could just replace the battery. But I'll get the VMU here. All right, send over something else. Mm. Oh, I, I know, I can't even, can't even grip. You can see how swollen my hand is around the, around the bin there. Ah. I don't want to break it. All right. Casey, what is this? Oh, it's another Dreamcast. Oh, it's boxed. Ooh, look at this. Fancy. This is a black one. I want to keep it boxed, though. I don't want to open it up. But I totally want to open it up. I know it's funny. When I ordered, um, my Dreamcast is from Japan. And when I ordered uh, Giant Gram, which is the All Japan Pro Wrestling game, I could have got it with the red VMU specifically for that game. And I didn't. Looking back, I totally should have. Casey, thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing you at future conventions. Um, and then this from David, giant box from Portugal, giant box from Portugal. Um, I opened it up, but I didn't see what was inside yet. Yeah, I know I'm terrible about that, aren't I? <laughs> you look right at it there. My goodness. Okay. Uh, we have a note. We have a postcard. Oh. That looks pretty. Look at that. We talked about that, remember? What, Portugal? We talked about postcards. If you ever come visit, you have a place to stay. Oh. Do you remember that thing? Yeah. Yeah, we should set up a postcard exchange or something like that. We should. I was thinking about that the other day. This, there's a lot of stuff in here, too. Uh, let me read the note here. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the words. <clears throat> all right. So, <laughs> what? All right. You're in radio. You have to read all the time. I know. That's all my job is, is talking and it's like it's like i'm yelling into a microwave just talking and pushing buttons 
Uh, hello, fellow gamer, John Riggs. My name is David, and I write to you from the old, very noble, always loyal, and unvanquished city of Porto. That's our city. That's our city motto. Uh, our city motto. Um, Porto in Portugal. I am a gaming fan and game collector, and uh, although I collect for a number of systems, my favorite is the Mega Drive, your Genesis, because it was the main console from my childhood. The Mega Drive was huge in Portugal. Um, during the bit uh, during the bit wars in the early 90s uh, the mega drive was huge in a lot of other like it was huge everywhere else i mean it was huge in america too but yeah like brazil portugal the uk uh man mega drive was king probably because super nintendo was too expensive to collect for i'm guessing i have no idea um i got to a point in collecting for the mega drive about two-thirds of the way through where every game i didn't have was either expensive or super expensive <laughs> we've been there uh, one day I was watching the Metal Jesus Rocks channel and ended up watching some of uh, watching some videos where you were the guest. I thought to myself, this Riggs guy really knows his stuff and ended up on your channel. By watching your channel, I learned, among other things, how to make repros and com um, completed my Mega Drive collection. Do I have a full collection? Technically, no. Can I grab a cartridge from the shelf and put it in on real hardware and journey back to my childhood? Absolutely. And that's important. Um, that's what's important to me. That feeling, even better, I started making cartridges of unreleased and homebrew, something I, something that never crossed my mind. That's, that's the best way to do it, for sure. Your channel is awesome. Although I like... Although I like other... Sorry. Although I like... <laughs> sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. This, this, is, this is sentimental here. Although I lo... <laughs> Are you getting choked up? Maybe. Although I like other, let's call it more professional made channels, like Metal Jesus Rocks, this is the part that I skimmed ahead and I, I read briefly. There's something about what you do that puts a smile on my face every time, a very manly smile, <laughs> and I prefer it over others. I guess it's the honesty and pure joy that you put on what you do that passes to the viewer also. Speaking of what you do, you do stuff. You're, oh, th th I'm sorry. It does. It's, it wasn't meant to be. Wasn't meant to be uh, comical. Speaking of what you do, you do stuff. You're not just showcasing stuff. You give something back. I'm not saying others don't, but with you, it's different. You share knowledge. You give back to the gaming community, and it goes all around the world, as you can see. So, as a token of my appreciation for what you do, I'm sending this gift that will hopefully that hopefully you will enjoy. I'm sending some PAL exclusive games. I don't have any, I don't have many PAL exclusives, so thank you already. I'm sending you some PAL exclusive games, at least I hope so, um, and some PAL candy. Um, PAL is um, I forgot what PAL stands for, but it's like international. Like there's you know American is NTSC, and then like the UK Europe is uh, PAL. Um, all right. Um, as well as Portugal. Then. As well as Portugal, that's included too. Um, I wish you and, and Brazil would be in there too. I wish you and all of your family well. Riggs, you are awesome. Don't change. He actually spelled your correctly too, like Y O U apostrophe R E. Riggs, you are awesome. Don't change. Your fan and fellow gamer, David. P S. Sorry for the English. Dude, your English was flawless. Yeah. Where you have better. Yeah. You, you have better English than I do. Come on. <laughs> uh, think this. This. This is fine. I'm sure what I'm sure what you sent is fine, but this letter is the, the is the crown. This this letter this letter is the uh, the key achievement here. Couldn't even read it all without getting choked up. That's why I don't like reading. I'm gonna cry like a baby. All right, candy first. I already see a lion bar in here. I'm this, already pretty sure that the kids are gonna demolish it. No, the kids will not no, find out about hide it. it. All right. Put them in the vegetable bag. Ooh. All right. Um, I don't think there is any neat way to open this. And as much as I like to save the uh, shipping here. All right. Sorry about all this. I I wanted to open it for the first time. All right. Um, we have those, which I love. Uh, these, which I've never heard of. They look oh. good. Um, chocolate Mentos. Whoa. It's like a chocolate, like the caramel covered chocolate. That's interesting. That's this is a limited edition cappuccino Twix. Ding. Oh, dude, Toffee Crisp. That was the good one. Yeah, we don't, we don't have access to Toffee Crisp. 
We don't have access to uh, lion bars. It was funny, breaking the fourth wall, and not that you care much about my personal life, but my wife and I were literally just talking about not eating so many sweets. <laughs> I see all this, so uh, I'll make the exception to the rule after. We'll start a week from now. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I've never heard of this one. This is the caramel milk. That looks milka. ridiculously delicious. And then we have the Oreo one. This one just came out, like, not even a month ago in America, in limited edition. I, I don't know if it's going to last long, so happy. This is probably a better quality, though. I've never seen these in stores, though. Like, it's always a better quality um, in other parts of the country. Countries. All right, PAL exclusives. It's a palette of them. A pal, get it? A palette. Oh a palette. Is he your pal then? David. That was so weird. I'm sorry. David is always my pal. I'm thank, thank you again, me. David. That was great. I like. What was your city motto again? The, the city motto was fantastic. From the old, very noble, always loyal, and unvanquished city. I love that. As opposed to Yakima, That's which is the palm street. Springs yeah, and then I live in Yakima, the <laughs> Palm Springs of Washington. <laughs> All right. Come up with our own motto. Yeah, welcome to Yakima. Just keep driving. You didn't see anything. <laughs> All right, PAL exclusive. Starting off with the, for the PSP, Assault 2 Urban GT. Nice. I have never heard of this one. I don't have this one, but racing game. Cool. PAL exclusive. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, the quest for booty. It's the greatest thing ever. Uh, true story. Um, and I was going to do a video later on on like all of the AAA titles I've never played. I've never played much Ratchet and Clank ever. Um, when Ratchet and Clank was super popular, I was knee deep in imports. So, all right, there's a lot going on here. We have Championship, Championship Manager 2007. It's like soccer manager That's or, awesome. or football, football. Sorry, football manager. I should say that. That is cool. PlayStation 2. Oh, dude. Masters of the Universe. This is a He-Man. He-Man. He yeah, they made a He-Man game in uh, in the UK. Never came out Why in America. Why did they not bring it out here? Yeah, I think I want to. <laughs> I know. Uh, I don't know why they didn't bring it out here, but super so uh, super excited to play this. Did they ever make dude. a gem game? They never did a gem in the holograms game. They may have done one for Coleco. No, they did a they did a strawberry shortcake for Atari or ColecoVision or something. This is the LMA Manager 2005. Looks like a Xbox 360. Oh no, it's just Xbox. Xbox, Xbox proper. That's awesome. All right. I know you like. I'm 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 games. I'm picking and choosing. Um, there's a few more games in here, and I wanted to save the carts for last, but I have one more disc game. This um. This I is can read it. this is the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, for PlayStation 1. And um, I'm curious on what this... Look at that one down in the corner there. Is it based on the one, or is it like I bet non-Disney? This version? is non-Disney, and I bet this came out probably exactly the same time as the Disney version came out. As they used to do that. Oh, Esmeralda's so pretty. When I worked at a video store... There's Esmeralda again. When I worked at a video store, anytime there was a new Disney movie, there would be like... Like, new Disney movie in theaters, and then knockoff Disney movie of the same story, like, uh, on v VHS. So when it was The Lion King, it was The Lion Emperor. Yeah. Was it really? Uh, I think there was a Lion Emperor. Oh, no, there was I mean, there's a Kimbo. Yeah. yeah. But that was before. But yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. Here we go. This is uh, Konami Hyper Soccer. Well, yeah, this is one that never came out in America. Konami Hyper Soccer. Looking forward to checking that out. It's like called soccer instead of football. That kind of surprised Yeah, me. wait a minute. You're lying to me. Um, it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be pal without an asterisk game in there. <laughs> uh, I don't have this one either. This is cool. Awesome. That picture reminds me of uh, Bugs Bunny when he dresses up as the um, Valkyrie. I just realized there is. I just realized from David, and if you're following along, you may have to notice it too, it's one of every system. Nintendo, okay. Super Nintendo, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Portable, Xbox, Xbox, Xbox 360, Sega Master System. This is the Sega Master System. This is a Super Monaco GP. Great racing game for uh, the Master System. I, and I need more Master System games too, so thank you very much. Oh, I love I love history like that too. That's it. They used to put a, a Sega sticker on the side to prevent theft, I guess. 
Um, and then finally, last but certainly not least, guaranteed from uh, Portugal here. There's a sticker right on there. Um, I love I love video pinball games, and I, this is one I've never even heard of. To be honest with you, Psycho Pinball. It's got three ball action apparently. Three ball action. Of course, I was random one. <laughs> Look at all these games. Three ball action. My wife loves the three ball action. She was telling me just the other day. Oh my gosh, John. How she wishes. Oh, this is fun. Let me show you this. First of all, fantastic packing. I love it when they put that on there so the character is not rolling around. Um, I won't. I'll just leave it in there for now. I love that unique uh, cart design there. That's fun. All right. So, thank you, David. Thank you so much. I mean, the letter for sure. Thank you for the games. Thank you for the candy I will share with my kids, believe it or not. <laughs> Maybe. And, <laughs> and, and, but seriously, thank you for the letter. Um, and then as well, uh, Casey, the, um, I, I'm certainly going to get some use out of these. I only had one of them, so now, and I have more controllers. So I actually have one for each controller that I have now. Um, and then uh, Mark, I mean, come on. That that's that's super awesome. And, and, the and yeah, and thank you, Holly and Katie. I didn't even have to look at the note for that one. Holly and Katie, I know who you are now. Friends for life. Um, and my daughters uh will probably send you a shout out or something too. So and again, thank you from the old, very noble, always loyal and unvanquished city of Porto in Portugal. Yeah, and we're stuck with welcome to the Palm Springs of Washington in Yakima. Oh, is this not welcome to <laughs> The end of your life. Well, well, um, <laughs> depending on what day of the week it is, I don't know. So, some good aspects, all right. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we can we can never mind what it looks like outside. We can all dream and pretend maybe we're all here sometime soon. So, that looks gorgeous. I know it. Doesn't that go look cool? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, until next video, take care. More uh, tutorials on the way. Like um, and subscribe. And. Um, and like and and I I want to reiterate in every one of these kind of unboxing videos I never expect anything in the mail. Yes, my address is listed below. That's usually for, uh, that the intended purpose was for sending broken video games so I could fix them for open cart surgery videos. Um, but now you know you, you open a couple up a, a couple of things and that's when you know people are like hey I want to send some stuff too. So um, well, really always appre always appreciated. Uh, never um, never expected. never never obligated and never expected, but always appreciated. I love that picture there. I think it kind of brings the up. community together, though, in many ways. Like, yeah. the gaming community has been amazing. I've yeah. seen you shining, you know, as you... Shut up. <laughs> as you read these letters and, and all the Aww. comments and no all compl the compl kindness. Never mind the letters. Compliment me some more while you're at it. That was nice. And you have a sexy ass. <laughs> Not mine. I don't know who's you're looking at, but it ain't mine. All right, I'm going to pack this Sorry, stuff away. Mistake, All right, thank you for watching. Take care. We'll see you. Thanks.